When examining the back, we do it actually in a standing position, but also in a, in a seated position. The seated position allows us to stabilize the pelvis against the bed. So again, we're going to palpate along the entire spine to see if we can find any findings of uh, scoliosis. We'll palpate over the medial or, or the lateral muscle masses to see if there's any pain. We can palpate over the SI joints on either side to evaluate for potential pain. Scoliosis might be magnified by actually having the patient uh, bend forward or do a forward flexion. This is evaluating this flexibility in forward flexion and may magnify findings of scoliosis. We'll have him extend, so I'll stabilize his pelvis, extend against my hand to evaluate to see how much lordosis he can create in his lumbar spine. And then I'm going to have him uh, uh, bend laterally, so bend to the side and we can evaluate his flexibility, and we're going to see if he's symmetric by bending the opposite direction. Back up. And the last, last part of his examination is going to be evaluate rotational uh, flexibility. So we're going to have you now rotate, uh, twist your hands, twist your body this way, and twist your body the opposite direction. Okay, so he has, he has nice flexibility and normal symmetry uh, with range of motion uh, in either direction. Last part of my spine examination is going to be actually done in a laying position. So I'm going to have you lay back down. And probably one of the most key part, of course, your spine uh, is where your spinal cord and the nerves come out of your spinal cord. I'm going to have you scoot up just a little bit more and let your legs go straight. And so we want to evaluate neurovascularly distally. Make sure that he has normal pulses in his posterior tibial and dorsal pedal pulses. We're going to want him to wiggle his toes. Extend your big toes up to you. Hold up strong. Hold your whole foot up to you. Push down like you're hitting the gas on both sides. And this evaluates most of the motor function in his lower extremity. We're then going to assess for sensation by touching both sides in similar places on both edges on both sides of his legs to make sure he's symmetric on both sides. Next part of the examination is to do a provocation test for uh, uh, sciatic nerve tightness or potentially a disc, which is uh, called a straight leg raising examination. We're going to have him lift this leg straight up off the bed as high as it can go and back down. We'll have him lift this leg straight up off the bed as high as it goes. If these things actually cause pain that shoots, bring back down, causes pain that shoots bound past his knee uh, to, his, to his foot, and that's a finding of a, uh, a nerve impingement or potentially herniated disc in his lumbar spine. We can actually exacerbate those pains. If he says he starts having pain when his uh, straight leg is in this position, if I bring his foot into a more dorsiflex position, that should exacerbate his pain and cause a tension sign. On the other hand, if I actually bring his foot in a plantar flex position or if I bend his knee, that should relax his pain and ease his pain. If, I, if either of those things actually cause worse pain, I would have some questions about whether he was being a cooperative patient that that might not be uh, a true sign of an uh, injured nerve in his back.